So I graduated from Ohio State University, it would be almost five years ago now. I spent one year uh, traveling, performing, saving up, and then I moved to New York and launched a professional career, and here I am, and I uh, couldn't be happier. Well, I've been performing in some capacity since I was about seven years old. I started out doing birthday parties, and I'm not ashamed to admit that. Um, I had a great deal of fun, and I think that birthday party magic really set me up to try and uh, learn to handle audiences and audience management and some of that stuff. So I learned a lot of skills doing that. I worked three restaurants from the time I was in about eighth grade all through high school. So three restaurants a week gave me a lot of opportunities to, as they say, be really bad. Uh, but you learn a lot doing that kind of thing. So, you know, all of the things, all the shows you do in the past informed what you do in the future, and that's true for me. So I don't regret any of those venues, even though one of the restaurants was an embarrassing chain that shall go nameless. Um, you know, it all helped in the long run. Yeah, it's a question people ask me a lot, and this is just my opinion, but what I observe is that magic is experiencing a creative explosion in a good way. I think that there are some awesome, awesome effects with and without cards being released on a number of sites and a number of ways that really interest me. However, that should be balanced out by the fact that I don't see any evidence of any young magicians really taking uh, their performances that seriously. And I think that we're seeing a real dry spell for strong performers. And so the challenge then for all of us, myself included, is to come up with ways to do this strong magic as people keep pushing the envelope, doing stronger and stronger magic, to equal that with your performance. Um, and the market's wide open for it, so take that challenge. Vanishing Ink's big project right now, Andy and I have been hard at work for more than two years, which is as old as the company is, on the new Jay Sankey books. They're going to be insane. It's his complete collection. Without all the stuff uh, that was not up to par, we've added in new material and taken all his strongest stuff. It's right now 1,400 pages, the first draft, without photos. And it's just insane how much good material there is with bills, straws, keys, levitations. I mean, anything you could want is right in there. And um, that's going to be our big 2011 release. So right now, my big news is that I'm uh, hard at work on a one-man show. When I'm not right here in front of you doing this, I'm rehearsing very uh, tenaciously on a one-man show that I've written. Uh, that's a little bit different than a magic show. It gets into more about my life, my injury, my uh, background, my travels, all sorts of things. So I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a show that takes a lot of risks, but also something very, very different. And um, hopefully it's coming to a city near you.